Hello and welcome to my channel. In this channel, we explain various nursing concepts in a simple form for better and easy understanding. These videos could be used by both LPN and RN students as well as nurses who are trying to refresh their basic concepts. My name is Nasmosh. So this is our oncology series and in this video, it's going to be our introduction to oncology in relevance to medical surgical for nursing students, continuing nursing education, so for both LPNs and RNs. In this specific video, we're going to talk a rough pathology of cancer, which is oncology, uh, risk factors, general signs and symptoms of cancer, diagnostics that are used to diagnose cancer. We'll talk about tumor classification as well as staging the cancer. So let's get started. So what is cancer? Cancer is actually a disease where healthy cells transform into malignant cells upon exposure to certain agents, okay? So these cells were originally healthy, but when they get exposed to a certain agent, they turn to be unhealthy or they have the malignancy. Cancer is actually characterized with a DNA damage that causes abnormal cell growth and development. So cancer involves rapidly growing cells. So the path of physiology and our oncology is there are three processes involved in actual cancer, right? So and this include initiation, promotion and progression. Initiation, this involves damage or mutilation of the SNA causing excessive cell division due to excessive oncogen function and decreased in gene function. So this initiation stage, this is where we are having that damage to the cell before the cell, because it's now exposed, now the cells start getting damaged. Promotion, like you're getting a job promotion. So what happens in promotion? Promotion, this is when the mutilated cells, remember, it gets damaged. And when it becomes damaged, it's a mutilated cell, right? So the mutilated cells are exposed to promoters that enhance the growth. This cells feeds on to something for it to continue growing. And this could be like if it's a hormonal induced cancer, for example, any uh, feminine cancer like uh, ovarian cancer, if it's exposed to estrogen, it can makes the cell to continue to wrap it like because this is feeding it this is food to this mutilated cell and then progression is our last process where the tumor cells acquire additional mutilation and their growth rate increases allowing them to metastasize making them resistant to therapy it's three processes there's the initiation stage where now we damage this cell right and then when the cell gets damaged or mutilated, we put it in a promotion stage where like it gets fed, like we are feeding this bad cell. And when we feed this bad cell, it gives birth to children. So bad cells are produced and it continue rapidly dividing and growth. Some of the common risk factors for cancer include age. And mostly when we talk about age, we are talking about older people, right? We have like genetics, rest, diet, and various exposures that could make you more prone to getting any form or a specific form of cancer, okay? Some general signs and symptoms of cancer. With this, in this video, we're just talking about cancer as a whole, nothing specific, not a specific type of cancer, okay? So general signs and symptoms of cancer include a decreased immunity and blood production. So because we are damaging cells, right? So these cells are rapidly dividing. They're not getting to the full. They're not growing and not developing well. So we're going to have this low immunity because we are damaging our different types of cells as well as blood production. Okay, we're going to have an altered GI function motor and sensory function deficits, risk respiratory function because we are compensating. And one of the classical signs of somebody or a symptom that we could think somebody has cancer is an explained weight loss, like unintentional or unexplained. If you see a question that asks you a general sign and symptoms of cancer, it's normally unexplained or unintended weight loss, fatigue, as well as pain. 
So diagnostics, some of the general diagnostic procedures we perform to actually diagnose somebody with cancer include like our MRIs, our CT scans, our ultrasounds. We'll also do a biopsy, which is normally our golden standard. We'll get a biopsy of the specific area that we think is actually cancer infected. So let's talk about some signs and symptoms that suggest the malignant disease. So the disease has malignancy. And we'll talk about the American Cancer Society 7 warning signs. And under this signs, there's an acronym called CAUTION. So C stands for changes in bowel and bladder habits. Remember, that's one of the classical general signs of somebody has something, you know, it could be cancer. A, a sore that does not heal. U, unusual bleeding or discharge. T, thickening or lumps in the breast or elsewhere. I, indigestion or difficulty swallowing, meaning like you're bloated, you're having a difficult time digesting your food. O, obvious weight loss, that we were talking about a classical sign, and N, a nagging cough with hoarseness. Remember, this cues are actually some questions I've seen with ATI, HESI, evolve you know this they ask you a patient has a nagging cough what would that suggest it could suggest a type of cancer and as well as the other manifestations which include weight loss fatigue weakness pain nausea as well as anorexia when we talk about anorexia here we're not talking about the anorexia which is a mental disorder we are actually talking about loss of appetite that is actually the definition of anorexia so how do we classify tumors? There are various ways we can classify tumors. And let's talk about carcinomas. So carcinomas, they originate from the epithelial tissue. And what is an epithelial tissue? It actually lines body surfaces, skins, and glands. With carcinomas, there are adenocarcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. So with the adenocarcinomas, the organs or glands that secrete substances like mucus, this is where we get this adenocarcinomas, and the squamous cell carcinomas, they actually originate from the uh, squamous epithelial cell. The other tumor classification are sarcomas, and this actually originate from supportive or connective tissue, for example, bones, tendons, you know, cartilages, and these include osteocarcomas and chordosarcomas. Please just forgive me for the pronunciations, okay? This bulky words. We also have leukemia, which originates from bone marrow, melanoma, it originates from plasma cells, and lymphoma, what? Lymph nodes, right? It originates from lymphatic glands or nodules. Okay. Let's talk about grading cancers and we wrap up this video as well as staging cancers. So how do we grade cancers? So we compare the cancer to the original tissue or tissue of origin and it's graded between one to four. Grade one indicates that the cancer is well differentiated and resembles the tissue of origin. Grade four, the cancer has no similarity at all to the tissue of origin. So when you have somebody say, oh, I have a stage four cancer, normally it's like a not a good prognosis compared to a stage one. So it goes, the bottom is one, the top is four, just like the numbers. And how do we stage it? So we stage using the TNM methodology, where T stands for tumor, N for node, and M for metastasize development rapidly growing cells with a tumor with the t right we could either have t1 anything between t1 to t4 and remember i told you one is a differentiated there's a difference right but four there is no similarity at all so it's based on size and the extent of the tumor this is the number of nodes affected in the grading so you could either have zero nodes like n0 or you could have up to n3 with it metastasizing we could ever have zero or one either you don't have any metastasizing or you do have metastasizing so slow growing cancers 
do not respond well. This is a key point you need to remember. They actually do not respond well to chemotherapy, but fast growing cancers do. So the slow ones do respond well to radiation or targeted therapy. So that's it for this video. On the next video, we're going to start talking about various types of cancer. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye.